there, people of the internet, friends and family. It's me, your boy DRX, and welcome to this video. Uh, and today we are, are going to do a reaction video, but not just any reaction video. We are reacting to some dango heart animations, boyo. I mean, it, it's been a while since we did some dango heart animations, but I mean, I'm. It, it takes time to do to do things like this, so you know we got to accumulate these one minute videos so you can do a lengthy reaction video. Anyway, I'm just rambling here. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Alrighty, team. Now, uh, before we actually start the video, first of all, as you can see, we have our own little Ender Chan here. And, um, actually, I tried to get her to sit on my shoulder, but she was not having that, so I had to get a little chair for her to sit on. And now she's all smiles. Who isn't smiles is this Ender Chan. And what are the odds that, uh, she'll be in this first video? I mean, <laughs> it's not like she's a fan favorite or anything. But, as we can see, she's got her hands clap, waiting, um, I wouldn't say nervous, I would say more, like, anxious, uh, in front of this, uh, nether portal, and, right, that's, nether portal, portal, that's what this is, correct? Uh, those of you who play Minecraft, you know, fill me on the details here. Ten bucks says that it's Steve that she's waiting for, because I can't think of anyone else than Steve. Who else would she be waiting for? Anyway, enough talking. What? Oh, who's gonna be? Hey, it's Steven! And obviously she's happy. And, whoa, we, there's a pig that said, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, time out, time out. Oh, he didn't even bother putting the diamond armor on. He just went straight up and was like, hey, girl, oh, it's so great to see you. I'm so happy. And so um, apparently whatever that block was that he uh, had when he popped out of that portal, he, he was really excited about it. And of course she's blushing about, oh, yeah, he just ran right out. Like, what is he making here? Okay, through. I'm guessing that wasn't supposed to happen. It, oh! Endermen are. Oh. oh. Okay, so two things here. Let's. Let, I gotta break this down. So, two, the first thing is so Endermen are actually weak against something, and it's water. And of course. It, any living thing that touches Enderman gets damaged. And it's like, you know, this is sweet. It's like they're sharing each other's pain. I like that. Okay, now. So, the, uh, sorry. Alrighty then. Well, uh, up next is Touch Grass. And uh, this book wanted to train a red. And I do see some grass outside. So, uh, red, are you going to leave the house and go outside and touch some grass? And, oh, what we have here, uh, we have uh, Garmchomp, right? That, yeah, no, that's the Gar no, that's the name, Garmchomp. Uh, looks like she's playing with little toy ponies. Oh, that's kind of, it's, it's cute. Uh, Totodile, I believe. One of everyone's favorite waifu Pokemon for whatever reason. Uh, Gardevoir, Lupunny. Uh, Bulbasaur, Charmander, I'm guessing that's Squirtle. I'm drawing a blank. I know the Pokemon. Can't remember its name. I remember catching it in Pokemon Emerald. Never used it once. It just stayed in the <laughs> the PC for all of eternity. But anyway, let's go ahead and watch. I was like, okay. Blue Oak, touch some grass. Oh, he doesn't like that comment at all. Wait, hold on. Bulbasaur, Leafeon, and Sni Snivy liked. Oh, because they're they're grass type Pokemon. Oh, <laughs> uh, well then, and looks like they really want Red to touch some grass, apparently. Uh, I mean, Bulbasaur, you know, just being adorable and cute. Uh, Sneevy. Is it pronounced Snivy or Sneevy? No, Snivy. I think I want to say Snivy. Oh, no, she even said it, though, too, didn't she? Snivy. Okay, it is Snivy. And then there's that, um, uh, Leafeon. She's, um, 
looking a little thirsty, and uh, I don't think it's water she's um, looking for. <coughs> well, after that um, video with uh, Red and his grass-type Pokemon, we are finishing the day up with when you finish a sad anime and the music kicks in. Hmm. Oh, it can't be that bad, right? Wait, spoiler for Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Well, spoiler, I have actually never watched Cyberpunk, and I already get to hear people in the comment section, you know, or watching this video, just gonna be like, what, you've never watched Cyberpunk? What is wrong with you? Are you a loser? Yes. Yes, I am. And I, wait, hold on. Who, who do we all have here first? Slime girl here holding Alex's leg. Honestly, that's kind of cute, but you'll say that she's she's sad. And oh my gosh, Alex just looks dead to the world. Uh, oh, oh, I just noticed this is the bag. We got Meriwether's uh, Minecraft anime with you know like oh memorabilia. Yeah, nice, nice, nice little touches here. Everyone is here. Oh, they're just all looking sad again. I'm sorry. This was like, the first thing that caught my eye, though, was how dead Alex was is here. Gosh, it can't be that bad, right? We're having a moment here. Oh, apparently it was bad enough that Slime Girl had to close her eyes. Dang. Oh. oh, everyone's moving on except Alex. Oh, wow. And they're working like, which way are you? Oof. Oh. It must have... Wow. It must have hit Alex hard. Bedrock. <laughs> He's like... Aw. Oh. It's like, comfort me. It's like, comfort me. This is so sad. Okay, yo, real talk. Now, while I haven't seen the end of um, Cyberpunk, uh, I, I, every, everyone has has had a moment in life where they've had this feeling where they saw something that they weren't expecting or it was that sad. You know, Avengers Infinity War, you know, the ending for that. Okay, no, real talk. So, every one of us has had a moment like this. Now, again, like I said, I haven't watched Cyberpunk, but I've had moments like this. Uh, the most recent, you know, not recent, it was like a year ago with, you know, the end of the, you know, the, the actual ending for, you know, Star Wars, The Clone Wars. You know, I, I remember feel I remember feeling like this, you know, just for, you know, you know, a couple, like a day or two. It was just like, wow. And I really had that feeling for like a week when, uh, the Undertaker's undefeated WrestleMania streak was broke by Brock Lesnar. It's just like, it's like I couldn't believe it. It's like, no, the the streak is sacred. You, you you can't you can't do this. And of course, when I was a kid, I was really like this when I saw Optimus Prime die for the first time. But. I digress. Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. Like, comment, subscribe, all those good things. And uh, I put the links for these videos down in the description. So make sure you, if you have not seen the official uh, release of these, make sure you get go over to the Dango Heart Animations channel and support him there. I mean, again, does an amazing job. Needs all the support he can get. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.